Tour de France. Now that the dust has settled after the presentation of the 2023 Tour de France, it is worth looking at the key days between Bilbao and Paris. There will be no downtime during the tour, but those who want to win should be prepared. First stage, the first yellow jersey in the Basque country. This year Ma Yojon will not favor a time trialist. Bilbao is a place to be on the first day, host the start and finish location. The race organizers also has included five climbs on the Basque country route. The opening day has 3,300 meters of climbing, still, pretty, unseen for the race opener. Add in the usual, Basque, chaos and, tour, stress, and you've got yourself an unusual first day. The riders reach the last hill at 10 kilometers from the finish. After a descent towards Bilbao we will know the first stage winner and leader after a tough final kilometer. Stage 9, Puida Doom, an unknown legend. The Puida Doom is a legend in tour history, but for the current peloton it is basically unknown territory. Not only due to an absence of no less than 35 years on the route, but also due to the fact that the call has been closed for years for exploration or for cycling tourists. So it is mainly living on testimonies from the past. It is nevertheless a place that breathes history through the legendary duel between Raymond Flitter and Jacques Anquetil in 1964 and the punch to the liver of Eddie Merckx in 1975. The climb to the protected UNESCO volcano, top at 1,415 meters, 13 kilometers at 7.7%, is the exclamation point at the end of the first tour week. After a day with 3,600 meters, the possible heat in the massive central may be an extra factor. The final miles of this stage are brutal, with brutal double-digit averages. When I joined also in 2004, the first thing I wrote down was Puida Doom, said tour boss Christian Prohom in Paris. This is one of the symbols of our history. You won't find a call with this profile anywhere else. In the last four kilometers, fans are not allowed, because that was a condition, to include this piece of heritage. 16th stage, the only time trial. It has been clear for some time that the tour's course designer is not really keen on time trials. In 2023, the Chrono Beasts, the time trial specialists, are ignored until the closing week, the day after the last dress day with a tough stage of 22 kilometers. A climbing time trial may be a bit inflated as a label, it's part climb part time trial a hybrid. From passing the road surface already rises towards the Cote de Sardines. After a quick descent and a flat interlude in Salanges, the Cote de Domancy emerges, 2.5 kilometers at 9.4%. Until Gamblouks, according to writer Victor Hugo the Pearl of the Alps, it does not level off, for a total height difference of 650 meters. The Cote de Domancy was the springboard for Bernardino during his 1980 rainbow jersey raid. The climb will also be the executioner in part at 2027 World Championships route. 17th stage, the roof of the tour. It has been given the label of the race's queen stage. The stage 2 course of L alone deserves the stamp on the basis of the number of altitude meters, more than 5,000. In terms of numbers, it is the climax in this Tour de France. Officially, it's not about an uphill finish, but the finish is after a 7 km dip after the monstrous and endless, 28.4 km at 6%, Cal de Lalos, at 2,304 meters on the roof of the Tour. Miguel Angel Lopez won on the Cal de Lalos in the 2020 Tour, Primoz Roglic was behind Tadej Pogacar at 15 seconds. With the Sazies and the Rosie Land, among others, there is no moment of rest on Wednesday, after a gruesome multi-day that starts on Friday with a Grand Colombier, crosses the weekend, Mordsign and St. Gervais Mont Blanc, on Tuesday there is the only time trial. For dessert, there is also the vicious final kilometer at Gorge de 20th stage, first for the Vosges. The ultimate showdown of the classification will therefore not be a time trial or a mountain climb in the Alps or the Pyrenees. The Vosges are given the honor, but spicy climb between Belfort and Lamarckstein. In 133 kilometers, 3,500 meters of altitude have to be covered thanks to the accumulation of the blown dal sauce, 11 kilometers at 5.3%, the Croix des Moines, 5.2 kilometers at 7.1%, the Col de Grosse Pierre, peak to 18%, the Petit Blown, 9.3 kilometers at 8.1%, and the Plaque Soissel, 7.1 kilometers at 8.4%. That succession will hurt the riders, predicts course designer Thierry Vinou. We want to prove that the vote can also be the setting for a finale. They are shorter calls, but more erratic, so they can cause just as much damage as the Alps. On more regular climbs, the riders can use their wattage meter. But these irregular climbs allow us to discover a new testing route. Help us to bring you the best cycling content. Please share, like, and subscribe.